resist. Acts 7 verse 51, Must you forever resist the Holy Spirit? It is a sad reality. As much as God loves us and as much as we know we need God in our life, we so often live as if God wasn't even in the equation. A conviction comes and we ignore it, an impulse to do the right thing, and we self-sabotage. If we are not careful, we too will be guilty of resisting the Holy Spirit. So what can we do? We need to repent and then we need to reprioritize. We can begin to make time for reading the scriptures. The Holy Spirit will speak to us through each pages. We can develop a practice to pray about those things that are on our mind. In prayer, the Holy Spirit will guide us and commune with our heart. We can set aside time for quietness and in the few moments we spend, the Holy Spirit will whisper assurances of His love and comfort to our heart. Our Holy God Spirit resides in us. So let us rejoice in this fact and humble our hearts to love and obey Him. Now, it is easy to wander far from God. Today, visualize yourself coming back to Him. Sense the presence of the Holy Spirit and welcome it. See yourself full of joy and peace as you fellowship with the Holy Spirit and its leadings. See yourself living with the fruit of the Spirit which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control in your life. Say each fruit of the Holy Spirit out loud and as you do, cry out, Lord, I want it, and I want more of it. Let's pray. Father, forgive me for the times I have resisted your Spirit's voice, the times I have stubbornly gone my own way. I repent. Help me to renew your fellowship. Help me to receive your comfort and hear your voice of reason and instruction. Might I live for you, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.